Well, hello there, Richard Tubb here, back in the Tubb Observatory, keeping my eyes open for the tools and resources that can help you to grow your IT business. So without further ado, here are my five a week from the managed service provider space. Now, I recently hosted a conversation with James Finglas of Irish MSP, MJ Flood, and Merriam Khalid, Director, SOC Offensive Security at Barracuda MSP. Finglas and Khaled talked me through the timeline of a ransomware attack on an Irish manufacturing company in August of this year and the lessons MSPs can learn from it. This video is now available to view on demand. And talking of breaches, Rachel Toback, CEO of Social Proof Security, a friendly hacker and security expert, details a common method she often uses in her hacking and one that was recently used in the MGM resort breach. This is a fascinating read for anyone interested in cybersecurity. The topic of data and workload portability is one that many MSPs are discussing, and so a report that caught my eye was the Cloud Workload Portability Pulse Meter from Akamai. Now, this report highlights an MSP survey indicating the top three drivers for workload portability, and they are business continuity and disaster recovery at 31%, cost savings at 30% and resilience at 27%. Thanks to James Steele of Leno for highlighting this report. I wasn't heard at meetings, so I did something about it, says Pamela Maynard, CEO of global IT consultancy Avenard. In this video on BBC News, Maynard shares her advice on how to get ahead at work. And finally, leading cybersecurity vendor Huntress are coming to the UK for a series of Breaches and Brews events. You can join Huntress in London, Birmingham, Manchester and Bristol during October 2023 for a fun gathering of MSPs at some top brewery locations where we'll be drinking beer while talking cybersecurity. As an MSP, are you aware of Microsoft Clause 6B? Well, this clause in Microsoft's terms and conditions states that Microsoft recommend that you use a third-party tool to back up your client's cloud data to provide continuity in the event of data loss. Now, given the importance of continuity to MSPs, Pax8 have put together a resource page that can help MSPs to grow their business with continuity solutions. To save yourself a sleepless night worrying about your client's data, I recommend you check this page out. And talking of Microsoft, a reminder that on October the 10th, 2023, Windows Server 2012 and 2012 R2 have now reached their end of support. From this point onwards, these products will no longer receive security updates, non-security updates, bug fixes, technical support, or even online technical content update. And yet still on the subject of Microsoft, Dev Kundalia of Computing Magazine reports that 38 terabytes of exposed data, including passwords for Microsoft services, secret keys, and conversations was recently exposed due to misconfigured Azure storage. This article makes for chilling reading for any MSP. A video that caught my attention was Stacey Thayer presenting at Black Hat on trying to be everything to everyone and burnout in cybersecurity professionals and discusses what really causes burnout, why it happens and what you can do to mitigate it. A powerful video. And finally, if you missed the big MSP Super Summit virtual event from superops.ai this week, then never fear, an on-demand recording is now available for the next seven days, including a presentation from me on building a compelling MSP brand story, and the best part, it was free. So check out the recordings now. Now a video that caught my attention was the easy path to MSP security from Skykick, with a focus on GDAP, plus some real-world Microsoft Teams and SharePoint scenarios from Lee Ramsey and Michael Leeson of Skykick, this on-demand video tackles head-on the top security scenarios that are important to your MSV clients. A podcast that caught my ear was Bradley Monday of Uptime Solutions speaking to MSP expert Ian Luckett about the top five help desk automations that every MSP needs. The help desk is the lifeline of any MSP, and in this episode, 
Mundy and Luckett focus on the automations that can elevate the service and efficiency of your MSP operations. Well worth a listen. A new book release that I'm excited to share is the IT Consultant's Year of Intention by MSP legend Carl Palachuk. Now, this workbook is designed specifically to help IT consultants to plan and evaluate their year ahead. And unlike a basic business book, this workbook focuses on the activities of a successful IT service provider. Now, how can your clients turn their employees into their biggest cybersecurity asset? Well, that's what I discussed on a recent episode of my Tub Talk podcast with Benjamin Netta, the founder of Riot. Riot is an all-in-one solution that drives a better protection for MSPs, and it's a tool well worth checking out for any MSP that wants to help reduce the cost of supporting their clients. And finally, one of the MSP industry's biggest events of the year takes place in Orlando, Florida on November the 8th to the 10th, 2023. IT Nation Connect 2023 from ConnectWise features Jesse Cole as the keynote speaker this year, and both live events and virtual tickets are now available to purchase. With IT security being the most concerning topic in the arena of digital business, keeping up with current trends is essential. However, there's value in taking a look at the journey so far to appreciate where we're at today. Smart MSP's Adam Khan describes what security was like before the internet, how viruses grew to become more and more sophisticated, and how legislation adapted to compensate. A podcast that I took a particular interest in this week was the It's a Numbers Game podcast with Adam Morris and Daniel Welling. In this episode, they spoke with Sean McNamee of InBay, recorded before the merger with Uptime Solutions. Sean shares wisdom on outsourcing the non-core and what delivers the highest value. It's well worth a listen. We all know that generative AI offers a plethora of opportunities, but what does this mean for the future of software outsourcing? This is the question Maxim Ivanov, CEO of Ukrainian IT provider AIMProsoft asks in his article for Computer Weekly. Ivanov poses some interesting questions about Gen AI and whether it will eventually make contracted developers superfluous. We all know that the sort of MSP businesses that do well are those with fantastic monthly recurring revenue models in place, but not all MRR is created equal. Service Leadership's Peter Kajawa says the secret is finding MRR that drives profitability and keeping an eye on the operational maturity level objectives of your clients can be key to ensuring you're not going to be losing money as you help them grow their businesses. And finally, Tuesday the 21st of November is when the Managed Services Summit North comes to Manchester, aimed at directors and senior managers of MSPs, VARs and system integrators. Richard and myself will both be there too. I'm Richard Tubb and this has been your five a week from the MSP industry. If you've enjoyed this video, then I'd highly encourage you to check out my MSP Insights email. It goes out every Tuesday and you can find out all the details at tubb.co forward slash NL.